Hi! I'm back with the rest of the tutorial about how to make hooded or aging eyes look more open and lifted and we are going for the second half of the tutorial. The first half I showed you was with the eyeshadow technique. Now we're getting to the liner and mascara and I'm going to use false eyelashes today. I actually am using a new brand that I've just received to do a review on and they're called Model 21. And here's the package. And they sent me a nice variety pack which I recommend because it's nice to have all those different styles. Now the one I chose has a crisscross lashes with a fullness in the middle because rather than like always with the tail up at the end, we're going to go for a rounded half a moon shape. So now we're going to go to our liner and I'm going to use a soft smudgy brown liner and you can see on this side it's got that nice rounded shape so just don't worry about perfection just get it as close to the lashes as you can concentrating the color in the center of the eye so you get it we're going to get a nice rounded look and we're going to use this little smudger and smudge it so once you get to the end of the eye you're going to stop now I'm going to use a little smudging tool. It's a little like a foam smudger and just kind of work that color in towards the center because what we're looking for is a half a moon shape. And you want to make sure it's down as close to the lashes as possible because that shape is going to help enhance that open look of our eye if you have a hooded lid or aging this is a lot better than uh, attempting to make a wing and then it drags on the skin or it doesn't work right. Now I've taken the lash and I put some glue on it and you can bend the lash a little bit I've already put the glue on so it would get tacky now I'm going to hold the lash in the middle of the eyelash and put it right in the center of my eye looking down is a little easier and press it up against the eyelid. You want to make sure it's on the skin and not on the lashes. And then you can take a little tool of some sort. I'll take the edge of my uh, tweezers or my finger and press that up against the eye. And with a little practice you can get this down Now I'm using brown colors rather than blacks because they're softer. And this particular eyelash glue is a black glue because that's what I had at the moment. But you can use a clear glue. Now as that dries, yeah, definitely make sure that you give it a few seconds so it gets tacky, the glue. We're going to go over that with a liquid liner and the liquid liner I have is a long wearing, um, I believe this is L'Oreal, I've had it a long time. It's a black brown so it's not as harsh or as dark and I'm going to go over that just really really close to the lash line. and on the end so you don't see the end of the eyelash that way. And again, end it at the end of your eyelid. Don't wing it up. Take that little smudger again and you can wet it a little bit, squeeze it out. It's kind of a little spud sponge to it and I'm just going to kind of blend that out a little because I got a little glue there. I mean the whole idea is that we want that rounded shape. And you'll be amazed at the difference that this will make in your eye. If you're older or you have hooded lids, it's going to really open it up. Contrary to popular belief that you always have to have a cat eye or a wing, this is a nice alternative. 
So I'm going to take a mascara. This is the Voluminous Original by L'Oreal. Kind of a really good classic standard. And I really want that to be dry. And I'm going to weave the lashes, my natural lashes, together with the false eyelashes. So you see I didn't put any mascara on beforehand. You could, if you like to, uh, and do it at both times. But I'm going to use my finger so that the mascara goes onto my finger if it instead of hitting my eyelid. So I'm going to go down, and make sure you can see, and weave these two babies together. So if any um, mascara goes on, it's going to go in the finger, see? And try to just take your time. So the natural lashes and the false lashes will look joined together as one. And it's concentrated in the middle. You can see. And I'm going to just take the wand on the lower lashes. There's a little bit of the eyeshadow down there, the darker color we had in the matte shadows. But it's a very soft, soft look. You could dramatize this and take this up a notch for evening. Any three shades that are light, medium, dark, and you can just play with. But I like the matte shades because there's no shine or sparkle. And therefore you're getting the look of dimension. There you go. And that is it to the hooded anti-aging droopy eye lift without surgery. So I'm going to bring this in a little closer so you can really see close up. How nice that looks. And that is with the false eyelashes from Forever 21. No, Model 21. Forever 21 is another story. Model21eyelashes.com Very pretty. And I'm going to back that out. Sorry. No surgery needed. And I hope that was helpful. And come back and we'll do a little more and we'll learn about eyebrows and how to make your eyebrows look youthful and more even and it'll be fun so see you in the next video